my name is Dan Clement. I'm president of the Great Thing Creative Process for Group Stall. Like Andy had mentioned, um, and we create artwork for the decorating industry, right? So let me go ahead and share my screen. Let's jump right into it here. All right. So just to show you, this is transparent background. So is this one. Uh, but if you're going to create your artwork, and this is something that I'm going to do now, right? We're going to go to File Menu New, and we're just going to use those two as jumping off points. So on our side, uh, the largest we can print on our ultra color uh, in the states is 11 and a half by actually 18 in, in, uh, inches, right? So when we create our artwork, we always have our vertical a little bit higher, so we can allow for the image and text or whatever. Um, but it will leave the width for the shirt kind of how wherever it lands. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I guess I can go to centimeters like you guys would have over there. Um, now, right here, the rest of this information is very, very important because you have to answer these things correctly or put in the right info in order to do a good job on your print. So your resolution should always be 300 pixels per inch. That is a high resolution file. Your color mode. I create my artwork in RGB always. Even though we're printing to a CMYK printer, uh, when you supply a, a an RGB PNG file to that, it's gonna, the RIP or the print driver is going to interpolate those colors and do the math and crunch it down and print accurately, right? So RGB, and right here, one of the most important things is in your background contents, uh, Photoshop defaults to white. You want to make sure you have it as transparent. Uh, and right here, I always use Adobe RGB 1998 as my color profile. Um, you can use whatever one you want, but I like the rich blacks and the vibrant colors it gives us. So I'm going to hit the create button and there it is.